Hi, this is Colleen, and I'm going to show you how to use Fieldwire for common general contractor workflows. In this video, I'll show you how GCs use Fieldwire to track progress on projects. So let's get to it. So a couple of notes quickly, just so you know how you can do that anyway. You'll see that all of my plans here are in individual plan tiles. We do automatically name those plans for you and split them out, even if it's in a multi-page PDF. To create photos right on your plan, you'll click the hyperlink option on the markup toolbar here. This is on both web and mobile. You'll select the camera icon, drop the pin, and then start to add photos, whether they're regular photos or 360 degree photos. I do recommend taking those photos from your mobile device so that you can skip the whole process of emailing the photos to yourself, downloading them onto your computer, and then uploading them to Fieldwire. But you do have that option as well. You can see I have another hyperlink here where I've already uploaded a couple of photos that are time stamped and date stamped, as well as tell me who took the photo. So I can get a really good idea of how the project is progressing. If I want to be able to report on these photos, I can do so either by utilizing the hyperlink on my main plan like I've done here. But another way to do that and keep it a little bit cleaner is to use a separate version of this plan which is what I've seen some of my clients do, and they really like keeping the separate plan specifically for progress photos. So because Fieldwire does automatic sheet naming and automatic slip sheeting, you have to name your plan slightly differently. So let's take a look at how we can do that. I've uploaded another version of A2.01-1, and you can see I've gotten a notification here for a version conflict. I can resolve that individually or I can resolve it all at once if I know that it's correct. And for this specific example, I've uploaded it into a separate progress photo folder. So let's take a look at this version conflict. Because there's an existing sheet with the sheet number, Fieldwire wants me to add as a new version. But I want to keep this separate so that I can track my photos separately. So I'm gonna add onto this sheet number and call this progress photos. You can shorten it PP if you want or whatever makes the most sense for your team. Now there's no existing plan like this found. I'll go ahead and confirm it. And now I have a separate version of this plan where I can start to add more of those photo hyperlinks. Jumping back to my plans here, I'll take a look at the plan that I've already added a bunch of my photo hyperlinks to. The more hyperlinks, the better, in my opinion. You can see in this particular plan, I've added one hyperlink for each of the four walls within each room. That's because I like for my team to stand in one spot and face one direction and take the same photo from that spot and direction every single day. That way we can click into these hyperlinks and get a really good idea of what has changed over the last day. Again, we can see who took the photo and when, and then take a look at both regular and 360 degree photos. If I want to send this out to my client who is not currently on Fieldwire, I can do so easily by coming to the actions tab and then exporting this as a PDF. It'll then download directly to my computer. So what does it look like when my client receives this PDF? Let's take a look at that now. I'm looking at my plan now that I've exported in Adobe. And then when my client receives just this PDF, they don't have to also receive all of those photos that are within the hyperlinks and figure out which photo goes where. All of the photos are stored and live within this PDF when my client receives it. They can click on that one hyperlink and then each of the photos open up in their own individual tab on the web browser, even the 360 degree photo where they can view it in its complete form.
If your team is looking to integrate 360 degree photos into your workflows, I do recommend getting the Rico Theta S or V model cameras as we do have an integration so you can connect your camera directly with your iPad over Wi-Fi, take as many photos as you need, and they'll populate directly into FieldWire. That was the general overview of how to use FieldWire to track progress. Please let us know if you have any questions or need any assistance. Thanks.